Ready? I'm ready. Oh my god. Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. I'm Bob, how's it going? It's like negative 12 right now. Yeah, it's cold. It's really cold. Uh, but Bob and I are up here skiing the brand new 2023 Ben Shetler 110. Yeah. Never said that before, have we? No, it's a pretty cool ski. Yeah, so instead of doing um, just an individual review of this ski, there's actually a whole new Ben Shetler line for 2023 consisting of five, five skis. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna meet you back in the studio um, and kind of just talk about the whole new line of skis. Uh, there's an 85, 90, 100, 110, and 120. Yep. So super exciting stuff. Uh, my feet are actively getting colder and colder by the second. Yeah, you'll have that. So we're gonna, we're gonna head in and we'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Hey skiers, here we are back in the studio. The cold one this morning, huh? Yeah, we did it though. We did it. We I, made it. <laughs> I feel like I'm still warming up a little. Like you still get that tingling in your toes yeah. like four hours later. I find it with the typing. I have a hard time with the typing. I don't know if that's frostbite. I feel like I just described frostbite. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is a really exciting video. We've been waiting to do this one for a while. We have known about these skis for a while, um, but the embargo date just got lifted, so now we can talk about them. Yep. Um, we don't have the full line of skis up here right now. Um, we did have them all last week, so we got to ski them, got to test them. Um, we've got video footage to show you. We've got photos of the graphics, stuff like that. We do have, this is the 100 and this is the 110 here. Um, so we thought what we would do in this video is just kind of take, take a moment to kind of run through the whole line um, and then, as you probably notice here, we have two different lengths in this 110. Um, so Bob and I are going to spend quite a bit of time testing this 110, and we'll follow it up with a full review. Uh, we thought about doing that review for today, but I feel like this is the type of ski where we need to wait for a powder day. Yeah, we got it on a little bit of soft snow, but right. nothing that it's really specifically designed. We want to do the ski justice. Yep. Um, we will talk a little bit about its performance today when we get up to that. Um, but I think what makes the most sense is starting narrowest and then going through the line to yep. widest. Um, so to start, we're going to have a Ben Chetler 85. Um, the Ben Chetler 85 is built a little differently than the wider skis. Yeah, like it has their Densolite wood core. So it's basically like, I don't want to say that particle board, but it's basically what it is. is it's a less you know, expensive yeah, build. Composite wood, yep. um, and that re reflects in the price. Yep. Uh, and it has the Dura cap construction, as all of these skis do. Um, but yeah, it's you know 85 underfoot. 399. Um, 399. We did note that it is uh, heavier than the 90, yep. which we can get to, but. Uh, you know, that's kind of what you get on that lower end of the price spectrum. Yeah, but 399, I, I think it's a lot of ski for 399. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I think it's positioning it in a really cool spot. Um, I think, it, I suppose this is a good time to bring up that the Atomics, Atomic Punks collection is going mm -hmm. away. Um, so that was kind of their park and pipe twin tip skis or park and pipe focused twin tip skis. So this new Ben Shetler 85 and as well as the 90 that we'll talk about in a second, they're kind of filling that role. Um, so the way I think about it is the 85 could be a number of different things. Yep. It could be a, a great choice for an intermediate all-mountain skier. It could be a really good choice for like a, a tweener or a teenage park skier. Um, just, just a number of applications for it and a really, really affordable ski. Yeah, definitely a really good bang for the buck, that one. Yep. Um, it was fun watching Allison ski. It looked like a great ski for somebody like her. Right. Yep. Yep. Um, and then bumping up to the 90, the 90 is another one that we don't have on the wall right here, um, but the 90 basically shares all the characteristics with 
this 100. This yeah. is the new graphic for the 100 here. Same rocker camber profile, 20% um, tip rocker, 70% uh, camber, and 10% tail rocker, I believe is how it breaks down. That equals 100. That, that equals 100, <laughs> yes. Um, Lightwood core, I think the 90 comes in at like 1,600 grams, yeah. where this 100 comes in at 1,700 grams. And... Pff, Pretty ripping ski, huh? They're going to sell a lot of them. Yeah, <laughs> for that price and that performance. Yeah, it's... so the 90 comes in at 499. Yep. Um, and boy, that, yeah, that thing was a lot of fun. Yeah, following you and then uh, one of your tech reps, uh, Val, yeah. who was a collegiate skier at UVM, uh, made it look like a race ski. You know, she was, right. you know, if anyone has any issues with performance, it's not the ski. You know, <laughs> right. seeing what she what she put the thing through and, sure. and you as well. Um, but yeah, pretty impressive looking performance. And, you know, I didn't get on that. I want to wait for the 184. Yep, I think um, that's, that's important. But yeah, it, right looked, like. it looked like you were having fun and got good performance out of it. Totally. Yeah, I would say that it doesn't feel like a Maverick 88 Ti. Yep. You know, you don't get that, like, endless stability, but that's not really what that ski is built for. Sure. Um, you know, that's going to be a fantastic choice as a park ski. Now I'm a little bit more centered. Um, I've watched a quick, like, preview or, or announcement video from Atomic, and they had a bunch of their athletes just ripping it in the park. So if you're a high-level park skier and you like atomic skis, you're probably either going to be going Ben Shetler 90 or Ben Shetler 100. But then, like, think of all the different applications of this ski. Mm -hmm. Directional all-mountain skiers, touring bindings. There's tons of different things that people have done on this. And basically, you're going to be able to do all of those things on the 90. You just get quicker edge-to-edge, -edge, less float. You know, you kind of just tailor it to where you live and right. the conditions that you ski. So I think they got a winner there in the, in the 90. Yeah, and I think for us here on the East that that 90 makes more sense. If you want to get into the Bent Chetler family, sure. you know, that 90 is going to make more sense for people that ski in the East or lower snow areas, or like you said, right. uh, there's that park application. Not to take anything away from this ski, you know, you own one yep. and you ski here on the East, but I do think that it's at least giving people an option. Yeah. Like, and I think in a lot of situations that 90 is going to be, going to be a better, right. better choice. Yep. Uh, and you save $100. Just like ridiculous. Um, and then bumping up to the 100, this is the 100. Um, like I said, the 100, if I didn't say, the 100 stays the same. Um, we just get this cool new graphic that I just put on the wrong Backwards. sides. Um, and this is a good opportunity to say that uh, the graphics, as always, they're all Chris Ben Chetler's art. What's different about this is he drew or painted one big painting, and then all the graphics came out of that single painting. And then he went back in and like drew the the hard lines over the painting on each ski. I just found that out like ten minutes ago, <laughs> but I think that's really cool. Pretty cool setup he's got to combine, you know, skiing and art into exactly. Like that's a dream come true for a lot of right skiing artists. Yeah, no, it looks <laughs> like Chris Ben Chetler's carved a nice little niche for yeah, himself for in sure. the ski industry, yep. um, and he's he's he deserves it too. He's a fantastic skier, right. very well spoken person, obviously very intelligent guy, and. Super talented, both with skis on his feet and a paintbrush in his hand. Yeah. Maybe if he's watching. Good job. Good job, Chris. Um, so this is the Ben Chetler 100. You guys probably know all about it. Bob, you own a pair. Yep. Um, 599, very well-rounded ski. Yeah. Of people can enjoy it. This is my utility ski for around here now. It kind of replaced my Soul Rider 87. Yep. Um, and one of the better tree skis I've ever been on. Yeah, just super quick. Yeah, for a, like I went up in waist width, but yep. gained maneuverability and flotation. Yeah, so. I always feel like the 100 and, and really all of these skis, I mean, I guess, I guess especially the 90 and the 100, they have such a good mix of like responsiveness and some grip, but yeah. it's also so easy to release the tail edge. Um, these have Horizon Tech. The 90 has Horizon Tech as well, if we didn't mention that. The 85 does not have Horizon Tech. Yeah. So that kind of that surfboard inspired shape to the tips and tails. Um, but yeah, really we like could skip this because we've talked about it right. plenty and you guys <laughs> all know that it's an awesome ski. Um, park, touring, resort skiing, yeah. just a, a, an endless, endless application for this ski. Um, and then, we got these 110s here, Bob. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. You know, we definitely had not the best snow for it, but yeah. we found some. Yep. Um, I think that it's, a, you know, always nice to point out that these things are pretty flexible yep. for 
you know, for a lot of different applications. It's definitely going to, you know, it's going to flex. Yes. <laughs> so a powerful skier should be aware of that. Yep. Uh, it highlights the playfulness and maneuverability for sure. I mean, the like high wiggle factor with this ski. I mean, it's pretty much designed to be a freestyle powder ski. Yeah. And like that's important for people to remember. Right. Um, and I think, you know, it, it's, it's obviously reflected in its shape. So the profile of this ski is actually more symmetrical than the profile of the 90 and the 100. The rocker and camber breakdown in this ski is 25, 50, 25. Yeah. So you get like equal amounts of tail rocker as tip rocker. So if you're landing switch in powder, you know, if you're, if you're hitting jumps switch in the back country, that kind of stuff, that's what the wider Ben Chetler skis have always been like one of the best tools for that application. Yep. And this one just falls right in line. Um, and I thought what you were saying about the 90 versus the 100, how the 90 is a little bit more appropriate as an East Coast ski, I think the same can be said about this. Yeah. I always felt like that Ben Chetler 120 was like maybe a little overkill here in Stowe. Like sometimes it's fun to have a ski that wide, but that's really wide. Yeah. Uh, where this, this just feels like a better width. No, I think reality sets in when you, you know, when you're on something like this. You're like, oh, this is much more appropriate. Exactly. For what I may do. Yeah. More often. Right. Um, but yeah, extreme high, extremely high wiggle factor. Yep. Um, super easy to butter and smear and stuff like that. Um, I always feel just like incredibly playful whenever I ski these things and. There's no wonder why when you look at how it flexes like that. Highlight the base graphics on this too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really nice, colorful design here. Yeah. That's, you know, th like this and the 120 have a lot more in con Like this and the 120 are similar to the 90 and the 100 in terms of their yes, differences. Yes, exactly. This has more similarities with, yeah. that, with that 120 for sure. Um, a lot of that's from the shape, but I think it comes through in the feel too. And just to, as a visual, like, Look how close to true center that's mounted. And I don't believe it's, it's forward at all. I, I believe that's mounted right on the factory recommended line. Yeah. So you, you almost are getting like a center mounted powder ski. Right. And I mounted, I moved these demo bindings back the way that I would if I were to buy them and mount them myself, which is probably about a minus three or a minus four from the line right sure. now. I didn't measure, but. Um, you know, I prefer it in more of a directional sense. I think Jeff would disagree and have that more center mounted than I would. Yeah, next time I ski him, I'll, I'll go plus two and then we'll just talk about the yeah. differences. I, j I feel like my shoulders get over the shovels of, of these easy. And you're, and you're not popping switch very often nope. out there. So nope. you don't really, there's no point in being centered. Right. So some customization to these skis, which is something that we talked about, about Ben Chetler's at right. length, um, the way that you can kind of change the mount point, change the personality of the ski and, and have it work for what you like to do is yeah. pretty cool. Yep, absolutely. Um, and then we get the 120 as well. Um, we probably won't spend too much time talking about the 120. Back again, unchanged. The big difference between this ski and the 120, um, they do increase the rocker profile in the 120, so that goes 30, 40, 30 mm -hmm. for rocker profile. Yeah, really, really mustached. Yep. And then they also add in a carbon backbone, um, and that's a big reason why the price of that ski jumps up to $7.99. Yeah, and I think that that ski needs that little bit of extra material. Yeah. You know, it'd be interesting to see it in this, but definitely more appropriate in the 120. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's a pretty even, it's really easy to think about the line in general, because it goes 85, 90, 100, 110, 120, 399, 499, 599, 699, 799. Yeah. So you're just increasing $100 per width. Um, and even that 799 ski, that's still like not crazy expensive for what it is. Right, these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So kudos to Atomic for keeping these things affordable. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's something that people have always really appreciated about the Ben Chetler line. Yeah. And we use them as an example all the time. Right. Notably, this ski comes up in conversation all the time with the phrase, uh, something along the lines of, it's amazing how good a ski can be with just a wood core and the right. correct amount of camber. Yep. Yeah, building the energy into the ski is, yep. is, is the, whole, the whole game there. Yep. Um, so that's it. Bob, anything you want to leave them with? Not really. You know, I think you, 
you said it really well when we skied with Atomic that now they have a bent shuttler for the, the whole, whole family. family. Yeah, you right. Know, so wherever you're skiing, whatever you're doing, uh, you can find a bent shuttler for you and yours. And I think that that's nice that they're doing, you know, kind of bringing this line into, you know, more of the spotlight, you know, the line, not yeah. just the, you know, the signature skis, but now it, it's got the line. Yeah. We're getting that new six pack chairlift at Stowe next year. Yep. I'm, I'm holding out to see a family of six all on all, Ben Chetlers. All on Ben Chetlers. All right, we'll do it. If there's a family <laughs> of six out there, make that happen for me. I'll put skis on my cat and then we're there. Oh, yeah, you got five. You got five. And that's uh, you, you, you're almost there because there yep. are two junior models as well. Right. I could see you being at the St. Pierre's could be a oh, Ben Chetler no. family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's it. Really exciting stuff. Um, next time we talk about these skis, we'll come back with a review of these 110s. Mm -hmm. um, we did have all the skis last week. Atomic had to take some of them to other on snow opportunities. Shucks. Yep. Um, but I did get confirmation that they're going to get us uh, a 90 to spend a little bit more time on as soon as they can. So we'll do a review of this 110 first, and then we'll do a review of the 90. If you have any questions um, about any of the other skis, always leave a comment. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And yeah, that's exciting it. talking about Ben Shetlers. Yep, sure is. So that's it, 2023 Ben Shetlers, and we'll see you guys out there on the hill. Bye.